changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. It's Tip Tuesday, and that's when we talk about an easy-to-implement, life-changing tip from one of our stories. Today, I want to talk about silver linings because you can almost always find one. Now, sometimes they're just silver linings. There's still a big, dark storm brewing, but you find one little good thing to hold on to inside that big, dark storm. But other times, what we call silver linings are really way more than that. They turn out to be better than what we originally planned. And that's what happened to Dale Allen Shockley a few years ago when a summer road trip went very wrong. She wrote this story the unexpected detour for our book about counting your blessings, which we published what feels like eons ago in 2009. But even though we published it so long ago, despite the tens of thousands of stories I've read since then, this one has stuck in my head. What happened was that Dale and her husband Stan were on a summer road trip with their young daughter. They were heading to the Great Smoky Mountains along the Tennessee-North Carolina border, and Dale had been really negative about this. Their, their van that they were driving to pull their camper had more than 200,000 miles on it. And she didn't think they could rely on it to make such a long trip. And sure enough, as they were driving along, Stan, her husband, smelled something burning. And they pulled over at a rest area. Stan got out his tools, opened up the hood, and discovered that they had a bad oil leak. Dale did that thing that wives sometimes do. She got into the I told you so mood, and she was pretty miserable and negative. They got back in the van, and they drove along slowly looking for a place that did repairs, and they had to stop every few miles to pour in more oil. Finally, when it was already dark, they found a place that they could stop for the night called Nokalula Falls Park, and they decided they'd stop there, and Stan would look for a repair shop the next day. Well, in the morning, Dale, who was still in a pretty bad mood, woke to a delicious smell, and she peeked out through the canvas flap and saw her husband frying bacon in a skillet with four eggs sitting beside him ready to go in the skillet next. He smiled, and he said he was making the best of a bad situation. Over breakfast, he handed her brochures for some local sightseeing they could do. He thought that they should take in the local sites while the van was in the shop getting fixed. Dale was impressed by her husband's optimism. The last thing that she felt like doing was sightseeing. But her husband always rolled with the punches, and he wanted them to enjoy this little detour, even though Dale had no such intention. So Stan went off that day to get a rental car for them and also discovered that their van did indeed need expensive repairs. And then Dale was even more certain that the whole trip had been a big mistake. So the next day, she gloomily set off on the sightseeing excursion that Stan had planned. But as they hiked and explored the area, which lay at the foot of the Appalachian Mountains, it was becoming increasingly difficult for Dale to stay miserable because it was beautiful there in that part of Alabama. There were waterfalls. There were dramatic gorges. There were really nice hiking trails. There were these beautiful mossy clearings. The scenery was spectacular. And Dale realized that they were already in a beautiful vacation spot, even though it had taken a broken-down van for them to find it. So her mood started to improve. And that night at dinner, they all talked about how lucky they were to have found this place. And Dale says now Nokalula Falls is one of their family's favorite places. She says that she has learned that no matter where the road takes them, she won't let an unexpected detour spoil her day. She always assumes now that those detours will lead to places that she'll feel lucky to see. So that was a wonderful way to turn a big, expensive delay into a big, inexpensive opportunity. And if we could just take all our unexpected detours and see them as opportunities to mine for new discoveries, we'd almost be excited when those inevitable, annoying things happen, like when you go to the doctor and you find out there's going to be a one-hour wait to see him. Or you go to the movies and the one you want to see is sold out, so you have to see a different one that you never even heard of. Or you're on vacation and the place you want to eat is closed, so you go to another place. 
There are so many wonderful opportunities that arise when things go wrong. You never know what cool thing is waiting around the corner for you. Tomorrow is Wow Wednesday, and we're going to talk about Maria Morin, who has a spooky ability to tell when someone is going to die. It's really something, her story. I'm Amy Newmark. Thanks for listening today. I love sharing all of these stories with you. And if you want to read more from the book I mentioned today, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Count Your Blessings, then please visit our website, chickensoup.com.